just seems unnatural for a Wrangler to sound and feel like that. Obviously, had to try the all new 2024 392 Rubicon. Guys, if you're gonna buy a Wrangler, in my opinion, this is the one. This is just it. Jeep, if you're listening, that button should be red. That sounds good. If you're not familiar with the 392, big old V8, push this. Opens up that exhaust even a little more. We showed you in another video uh, about the all new display. It's got uh, a lot of the features from the Ram trucks, the new uh, the new Grand Cherokees. Um, I think it's nicely done. HVAC vents are down here instead of your round knobs up there. The lighting is a little different. You do get some lights up there that are different. Lights in the back. You get some additional airbags, some side curtain airbags. That's different. Uh, but overall, those are the main differences for the 2024 Wrangler. Uh, your biggest difference is gonna be right here. So let's take this 392 for a ride and uh, see what she's got. As you guys probably know, the 392, you cannot go into two-wheel drive. Uh, it's four-wheel drive all the time, probably for obvious reasons, but this thing in two-wheel drive would be a blast. How does it sound good? Thanks again for Mama for putting this rally together. I know this is my first event, hopefully first of many. This thing just feels like a beast. The steering feels tight. You sit up a little higher. Depending if you've got a lifted Jeep or not, you might laugh at me at that. Uh, I've driven one of these before, but it just, I forget how awesome it is. Almost $100,000 though, I guess it should be. This is one you, you buy and if you could, you, you park in the barn because what's going to happen is, hold on. Just seems unnatural for a Wrangler to sound and feel like that what was i saying yeah this is one that you buy you park in the garage and you keep the miles off of i'm a betting man this one is going to be worth some money uh as the v8 power plants start to disappear in the auto industry i'm not saying that's all bad <clears throat> um i'm a huge v8 enthusiast but some of these electrics and some of these twin turbo six cylinders are outperforming the V8. But I will say I love the sound and I am not necessarily an advocate of it coming out of an augmented speaker. I'm not saying I won't change my mind, uh, but as of right now, what is this saying? There's no replace, no replacement for displacement. sounds good let's turn this off and see wow it's a totally different animal if you don't like that exhaust noise you can really dial it back I don't know uh, why you'd want to do that <laughs> that's crazy difference this just puts a smile on my face if you can afford a Wrangler 392 in it and you like Wranglers and performance and just want something awesome I know I said it a million times but Jeep has hit a home run on this vehicle maybe I'm biased I'm a Jeep guy I know but yeah you know what and I, to be fair I think we can thank Ford you know they they were gonna put a V8 in the Bronco and you know I think that was a good competition for Jeep so I think that's part of the reason we have it but nice job. This is a great vehicle.